Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I am very excited because I'm going to be reviewing some Fortis boots uh, for the first time ever. This is going to be actually, once again, a pair from my buddy Mario, otherwise known as Boot Reaper on Instagram. He sent me these to review. Let's unbox them and let's see what's on the inside. All right. This is an extremely, extremely awesome pair because these are the Fortis Monkey Boots and Horween's Fudge Chamois. I'm a huge fan of Horween Chamois leather. I actually like it. It's probably one of my favorite leathers from Horween. I probably like it more than Chrome Excel. Chrome Excel is just, it's a staple though, but I really love rough outs, especially heavily oiled rough outs like this chamois here. So let's talk a little bit about what's on the inside of the box first. So we've got these awesome Fortis boot bags here, one for each boot, obviously. And then we've got a Fortis Boots first anniversary sticker. We've got a Fortis Boots extra set of laces here. And then we have another Fortis Boots sticker here as well, Fortis Leather Goods. Ride your boots every day, established in 2020. And then they were kind enough to throw in a t-shirt as well with the Fortis Boots logo on it, brilliant. So the man behind the brand, his name is Sani, that's S-A-N-Y, and I asked him a little bit about some background information on his brand. His response was, I like leather shoes or leather boots from my parents, and I continue this business because my parents are leather boots craftsmen with Goodyear Welt construction. I'm happy to do this considering it's my family's legacy. And the concept that we build is casual boots and boots for work in the field and that are rough. Other than that, we just want to position ourselves as one of you as a community of boots lovers. Therefore, we continue to learn from various customer requests, namely the MTO system, which has made me learn to gain broader knowledge about leather boots. Our vision is customer satisfaction. If something is lacking in our work, we replace it with a new one and have revised the complaint. Pictured here is Sani in the middle, and then his father is on the left and his brother-in-law is on the right. And this is the entire Fortis Boots team. Amazing. I love getting to know the people that make the boots. To me, that's the best. So these are the Fortis Monkey Boots in Horween Chamois Fudge Rough Out with Dr. Soul Originals Raw Cord Full Soul. We've got a double midsole, which is, to me, the most impressive part. I absolutely love it. It's going to be so hardy on foot, super thick, super sturdy, like walking on wood initially. We've got Goodyear Welt construction, chain stitching with Storm Welt, steel shank, six and a half inch with seven eyelets and four speed hooks, and full leather lining. Yeah, here we go with this double midsole. Absolutely thick by my eye. That's probably 12 ounce midsole per layer, making this probably 24 ounces of thick vegetable tanned leather on the midsole there. And then this is just a geniusly stylized boot. So the back heel strip here has really beautiful embroidered sort of stitching on the back. It's not so stylistic as to be overly gaudy. It's actually just very elegant and simplistic, but I really like the hourglass shape on the back of the heel there. I also appreciate that the quarters of the monkey boot are have the rough outside exposed. However, the back heel stay has the smooth fudge chamois the smooth outside exposed and the same goes for the toe as well the toe is going to have the smooth out facing out to give a nice contrast another thing that i really appreciate about the toe is again we have sort of this hourglass loop stitch at the toe on both sides i think that's really sharp we've got a 360 degree storm welt chain stitched in with what appears to be golden thread throughout there throughout the entire chain stitch. Then we've got a double stitch, straight stitch leading from the front of the quarter all the way to the back heel stay, also very sharp. Four speed hooks, seven standard eyelets, flat wax cotton laces. We've got the raw cord, Dr. Soul's full sole, very sharp there. I can feel the shank there. And then another really, really cool thing is it's got a Fortis Boots, a vegetable tanned insole, which is very expertly uh, shaped 
I can appreciate insoles even more now that I make my own <laughs> dalesleatherworks.com. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's got a very well shaped Fortis full grain leather insole there, no corners cut there. And then probably the most, the coolest thing about it is on the tongue, it's got a bear and it has Boot Reaper, the Boot Reaper logo embossed on there. It looks like that was laser etched in there. And this patch with the logo on it is is stitched in. Yeah, so the tongue is gonna be also fudge chamois leather, smooth facing out the rough outside on the inside. We've got a roll top edge at the uh, at the throat, and then a pull tab as well. What a masterpiece! I mean, when I was looking through the Fortis boots. Instagram and I actually uh, opted for a different custom build but once I got these in I realized these are truly are nothing like anything else that I have in my collection so I actually plan to probably order these as well these are in a size 43 um, I have come to the determination that I would want to go down a full size from this probably go for a standard 42 I think that'll be a good fit and uh, speaking of monkey boots so here are my thorough good roofer boots roofer monkey it's basically interchangeable. They're basically the same thing. These are my Thoroughgood roofer boots to compare against the Fortis Fudge Chamois roofer boots. Uh, both made in Horween leather, so this is gonna be in Horween's uh, Brown Chrome Excel. And uh, these are size eight and a half up against Fortis boots size 43. But my other uh, roofers are look to be a half size shorter than the Fortis. I'll get the sizing more ironed out. It's difficult comparing two different sizes entirely. Again, Thoroughgood eight and a half, Fortis 43. Yeah, these roofers in eight and a half are a little generous. Um, I could probably have gone down to an eight and it would have been fine. These are definitely monsters. These are definitely too big on me. Uh, yeah, I think the monkey boot looks way sharper with a taller shaft and a roll top edge there. These roofers, they're, they're more or less kind of like uh, tall shoes. They're not, I mean, they're technically boots, but they're not really truly boots when you compare them to something like this. These are obviously better. The midsoles in the thorough goods, the veg tan. In fact, it looks like there's some leather board in the midsole, I think, whereas on this, no, it's very clear that it's full veg tan. And then uh, the thorough goods are unlined. We'll be here all day if we want to discuss the differences, but yeah, so these thorough goods were 800 bucks. I believe these are more like five or six hundred dollars through Fortis. So, I mean, but definitely an upgrade. That's that's one thing that I'm noticing with these Indone Indonesians is you could really upgrade the living hell out of your boots and seriously build the best boots, customize them all the way through. It's an amazing experience. The only real risk is the sizing, but these guys use DHL. DHL is, <laughs> they're much better than the US Postal Service. I can tell you that from experience. Uh, DHL gets this stuff to you quick and they get it done right. And so, yeah, for that reason, I'm just super impressed with the Indonesians once again. So I actually put in an order, which is being made now. So this is gonna be the Dakar Article 8 inch color combo with Mariam Mushio horse rump on the side quarter and Wicket and Craig harness olive for the vamp and back area. Dr. Soul half sole black and woodsman heel type, size 42, velt shown construction, six eyelets and four speed hooks. You will have to use your imagination because these boots do not exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through his various models, the Dakar article is very nice. It's a very tall boot, looks like an unstructured toe, plain toe model. Uh, it's got a separate back heel counter, but you can customize that any way you want. Absolutely phenomenal. The Dakar is probably my favorite design of his so far. They also do a Chelsea. They also do a lace to toe. They call it the El Tuto beautiful yeah it looks like a lace to toe like a logger type of a boot but sani is just getting started and the sky is the limit he also does engineers 
He also does Kepto, obviously. He's also done Mokto, obviously. I don't think there's anything he can't do. He did some absolutely wild engineers. The Fortis Boots uh, engineer model is called the Tapac. The ones that I'm looking at right now are made in Badalassie Carlo Pueblo Oliva. Stunning. And also my buddy Take at Bootlosophy also uh, reviewed some Fortis boots and that's actually where I had first he heard of Fortis was through Take O. So thank you Take for introducing me to this phenomenal Indonesian maker. I seriously cannot wait to get my hands on some. Like I said, I have that custom pair in. Probably going to go ahead and order these once the other one gets in and I ensure my sizing. That's sort of like the best strategy with new makers that you don't have a prior experience with is first, you know, talk it over with them. 90% of the time they're going to get your size right. But in case they don't, it's best not to have like three orders going at one time. It's best to like wait till that first one comes in, then you can really know for sure. And then you can keep hammering out makeups through these guys. And then, you know, you build up a client bootmaker relationship. And that to me is the best. And you can just order a pair, wait three months, get some new ideas, order another pair, wait six months, have some new ideas. You might think of some new possibilities and then reach out to them. They're always super excited, super enthusiastic. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. Putting the minds of the consumer together with the boot maker is always, to me, the most exciting. That's I just love that. I love uh, getting together, coming up with formulating new ideas, uh, executing on those ideas, and looking at the end result. It's really a marvelous process, and uh, I'm truly blessed to just be able to uh, review these boots, get a look at them in person, and relay to my audience that Sani is the real deal. Yet again, another phenomenal Indonesian maker. Another comparison here. These are my Alden Roy boots in reverse tobacco chamois. This reverse tobacco chamois is a heavily oiled rough out. It's very similar to this fudge chamois, but as you can see, the colors are different. By my eye, these are just different uh, shades of brown, essentially. So this is gonna be reverse tobacco chamois. It's gonna be a little bit more tobacco, a little bit lighter. I'd say I'd give this a 70% dark chocolate and I'd give this an 85% dark dark chocolate here on the fudge. The fudge is more of an espresso brown, whereas this tobacco chamois is more of a cigar brown. So just the fudge is a bit darker. And then what's really cool is these Alden Vintage Indies are the, I believe the reverse tobacco chamois, I'm not exactly sure. What I do know is that this is smooth chamois. So this leather is still chamois, and you can compare that to the smooth out side of the fudge chamois. And the smooth out is very comparable in both. Uh, very much a nubuck type of a feel, and just brilliant. I absolutely love chamois. Like I said, it's probably my favorite stuff out of Horween. I'm surprised I don't have more. I'm absolutely in love with chamois. I know Chrome Excel gets gets all the accolades, but really chamois in, in my book, it's where it's at. It's the most wild stuff. It's so much fun. It's so rough. It's so oily. It's just so gnarly. I love it. I love the smooth side. I love the rough side. I love it all. I love all sides. So anyways, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching guys. Please leave me your thoughts of these incredible Fortis monkey boots in the comments below and go give Fortis a follow. I will leave the link to their Instagram in the description box below. So be sure to check them out, give them a follow. Anyways, Let's keep the love of boots alive. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.